friends to my kitchen. It's that time of the year where we get a lot of stuff in our, if you grow a garden, you have a lot of stuff that you don't know what to do with it. Well, I'm at that point right now. Cleaning up all the garden, getting rid of everything. I had a bunch of zucchini and I thought, what am I gonna do? I've made zucchini bread, but I'm gonna, I don't think I've ever made one, a video with chocolate zucchini bread. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do chocolate zucchini bread. It is so delicious. And we all have those um, those vegetables and zucchinis that we don't know what to do with it. Make a zucchini bread. You can make it and put it in a freezer. When you want it, you have it. So I have four eggs. I'm doubling the recipe, of course, because I had I needed to get rid of that zucchini. It had been in my fridge way too long. And we're tired of eating zucchini. And I thought, you know what? Let's make some some bread. Maybe, maybe that'll go. And then I have a cup and a half of brown sugar. And I'm gonna blend all this until it's creamy. Um, I like making stuff like this because I can put it in my freezer and when I want it, I just take it out. I share with my in-laws. They love stuff like this. So, anyway. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm making a chocolate zucchini bread. So you want to beat the butter and the eggs. I mean the sugar and the egg and so you don't see no more uh, sugar and it's nice and creamy. Okay, I have two um, cubes of butter or one cup of butter and this cake uses butter and oil. So I have the butter and then I have half a cup of vegetable oil. So, anyway, and I'm going to make this zucchini bread and get rid of that zucchini. And the thing is, this is a good way to have those kids, kids to eat some of these vegetables. If we put the vegetables in things like this, kids are not going to know the difference. I'm going to put about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then to my flour, I have two cups of flour. I have one cup of cocoa powder. This is where the chocolate chocolate. So you can use chocolate, cocoa powder, and then chocolate chips. And then I have two tablespoons chia seeds. I'm adding this to the recipe. And then three tablespoons of flax seeds. And now I'm going to try to mix. Oh, and then my salt and baking soda. Mix all this, and then we're going to add this to this mixture. Anyway, this is one way, like again, I always say, to get those kids to eat more vegetables. You make it in you make it a, a bread. You can make cupcakes or muffins. They'll eat it. That's how I do now for my bread kids. They won't know the difference. Okay, I'm gonna add all the flour, everything at once. And I'm gonna go gentle. Okay, I'm done with this. Now I'm gonna use my spatula. I don't want to overmix this, um, this dough. I'm going to add all, I have, I packed these, I shred them and I uh, squeezed all the water. I squeezed all the water and then I packed it. So I, I have about three cups of shredded zucchini, which is about two normal size zucchinis. Anyway, and I'm going to add my chocolate chips. You add those chocolate chips, the kids think, oh, this is so yummy. And they don't know it's zucchini bread. 
So, anyway, and my bread is done. I have my oven preheated at 350, and we're gonna bake this, and then I'll show you. Grease my two loaf pans, and now I'm gonna scoop using my big scoop. I'm gonna divide this between these two pans. I'm making it in loaves, but you can make it in cupcakes or muffins, however you want it. So, anyway, this in the afternoon, you know you don't feel so guilty eating something sweet because you have that. You have the flax seeds, you have the chia seeds, and you have the zucchini. And if you don't want this the zucchini, you can make it even more um, thin. You know, I shred it with my shredder, but you can even probably make the finer. I did the coarser one. But if you don't like to, don't want even to see the zucchini fibers. So, anyway, and this is going to give me two nice loaves. I was just going to make one, but then when I start looking at the zucchini, I go, I can make two. I'm going to keep one and share my with my in-laws. My in-laws, they I share everything. What would I do when they're gone? Who's going to eat all this stuff? They love this stuff. So, anyway. And I'm going to bake this until I insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. It, it depends the oven. I will let you know at the end how long it took. Wrap it so there's no air bubbles and it spreads out even. And I'll show you when it's done. Okay friends, my zucchini bread is done. It, it stayed in the oven. 15 minutes so it all depends on your ovens and it is still so hot but I'm gonna cut a little piece so you can see what it looks like oh it's so moist <laughs> it's hot look at this you can't even tell it's zucchini bread it's more like zucchini cake Smells so good in this house. Mm. It is so moist. Sometimes it takes like a uh, bread like this that are so heavy. Not this one. This one is so light and so moist. So, you know, when you're trying to get those kids to eat more vegetables, make some. Zucchini chocolate chips, double double chocolate zucchini bread. You can't even taste. I make it into muffins. You can't even taste that how uh, well has zucchini in there. And then plus it has those chia seeds, it has the flax seeds. Really good. Anyway. Here's another easy recipe to get rid of uh, those vegetables that we have throughout our gardens as we approach the end of summer. Find this and you can make this and then let it cool and put it in a Ziploc bag and keep it in the freezer. When you want it, you just take it out. So there's no need to waste those vegetables. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Share my videos on your social media and with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. And please comment in my videos because when you comment in my videos, that's when my um, I earn a little bit of money with um, every time somebody comments or gives a thumbs up. So please do and um, until next time, let's get cooking. Have a good day.